What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Shamir, you guys. And if you are new here, it's fun over here. So just go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. Turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out when I post another video. And you know, go ahead and join the squad, okay? <laughs> All right, now that we got that out of the way, you guys, let me tell you, when I first started seeing you know commercials and previews and all that other good stuff for the new vc andrews movies that were going to be coming out on lifetime i was like okay you know what let me see what this is going to be about now honestly you guys i'm not going to lie to you the main reason i decided to watch the vc andrews movies on lifetime is because growing up when i was younger um I have a cousin who's a few years older than me. Shout out to Mona. Mona was the first person I saw with V.C. Andrews books. For some reason that stuck out in my head and I was like, okay, those were the books that she used to read sometimes. So I have never um, actually read a V.C. Andrews book. So coming into the movies on Lifetime, I didn't really have anything to go on and I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing because usually whenever you know they make a movie about a book sometimes people are like well you know it wasn't as good as the book or you know that sort of thing so I didn't have that to worry about I just went straight into it like let's just see if this is gonna be a good movie well, the first one I watched you guys was Ruby and oh one more disclaimer I'm just gonna tell you guys now I will just do a brief talk about Ruby and Heaven. Those were both of the movies that I watched. And then um, I'll let you guys know before the spoilers happen because you guys, I just feel like after watching these, the spoilers have to happen. But don't worry, I will let you know beforehand and I will leave a timestamp in the description box so that you know exactly when it's about to start. So Ruby. You guys, Ruby came on and the groove was instant. I was like, okay, what's going on here? You know, we're in Louisiana. I'm seeing the bayou. Um, this woman's in here with this baby and things are going on. So the groove was there pretty quick. Um, it made me, it definitely had me drawn in within the first few minutes. And I was like, okay, you know, I can watch this. Let's see where this goes, okay? When I say Ruby has lots of twists and turns and family secrets that I was like, oh, okay, this is what we were doing. So you guys, it was very interesting. All of the family secrets that were going on in the movie. Um, just how different characters, like what they had going on and um, her and her journey to finding her family and it was just a lot going on, okay? Like the grandmare, which was her grandmother, you know, she was keeping a family secret and, you know, had to tell Ruby the family secret. And, you know, we've got boyfriends and sisters and brothers and long lost fathers and all that stuff. So I say all that to say, you should definitely watch Ruby. I feel like all of the time that I spent watching that, um, I actually recorded on a DVR and then watched it um, this morning. So all of the time I spent watching it, I didn't feel like any of that was wasted time, you guys. I felt like I really enjoyed, you know, getting to know this story and watching the movie. Um, it did end in a little bit of a way that I was kind of like, hmm, that's, that's it. That's where we're at right now. But, um, you know, there's going to be basically like a follow up um, that's going to come out. And I think that one is actually coming on tonight. So I'm definitely interested to watch that now because I feel like Ruby, you know, is not the end of story. So now I have to watch the other one. If you have not watched Ruby already, definitely go ahead and check it out. It's worth it um it wasn't really what i was expecting i don't know what i was expecting i wasn't expecting much because i'm not like like i said i didn't really know what was going to happen in the books but it was interesting and it definitely didn't feel like a waste of time so go ahead and check ruby out if you didn't watch ruby okay you guys so on to heaven now you guys i must warn you heaven and ruby do have a few similarities as far as 
you know, grandmothers knowing family secrets, um, issues with the grandfathers in the movie, and, you know, just a lot of deep, dark family secrets and twists and turns in it, okay? However, I do feel like Heaven was one of those movies to where it just left me in a mood afterwards, honestly. So I feel like you have to really kind of pick and choose your time when you want to watch that one because I just feel like the storyline was so deep. Like the things that were going on were like very disturbing to me. And I was like, just in a sense of the topics, you know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to issues of... um you know, people really not, the main thing was just the fact that, you know, unfortunately, I know it's a movie, but unfortunately, like, these are, like, some real life things that can happen sometimes, and it's just when I have to watch something, and it's like the children in the movie are not being protected by the adults who are supposed to, you know, protect them and guide them, and these adults are taking so much advantage of them and doing stuff that is so wrong to them, it really was a little hard to watch this one. I kind of was like, honestly, I feel like if I was reading the book, I don't know if I wanted, I would have wanted to just keep going, you know, all at one time. So I feel like it was a lot to digest at one time. Okay. But, um, it wasn't like it was bad. It wasn't like the acting was bad or anything like that. It, it really was just one of those ones to where it was so deep. And I don't know that after watching Ruby and it just being, you know, an early morning and me watching movies, I don't know if I needed to go that deep in the morning, okay? Maybe, like I said, if um, I had watched Ruby on one day and watched Heaven on a different day and, you know, wasn't just starting my day, that's what it was. Heaven wasn't one to start your day with, okay? <laughs> Maybe midday or afternoon or something, fine, but I wouldn't recommend you setting your DVR and waking up, you know, on a beautiful day outside and being like, hey, let me watch heaven. I think you want to save that for afternoon or nighttime, something like that. Now that I gave you guys the basics and you know, basically that Ruby was good and you should watch it and heaven was good, but you should definitely, you know, be mindful of when you watch it just because it's, you know, so deep at certain times, at least it was for me. Now we can really get into it and I can tell you how I felt about a lot of the stuff. So here is where, if you haven't seen it, you'll want to just go ahead and stop watching the video now, you know. You'll want to stop watching and you'll want to come back after, you, after you've watched it so that you can see how I felt about the things that were going on and you can know, you know, you can relate to what I'm talking about because you will have seen it, okay. Let's get into into my thoughts okay so when i first was watching ruby when it first came on i was like like i said a minute ago i was drawn in i'm like okay the family secrets and all of that drew me in but you guys when the family secrets started coming out i was like what the heck is this okay to say that ruby's grandfather basically saw her twin sister when they were babies was just crazy to me um the and, and he's such an alcoholic i was just like oh my gosh grandpa what is going on so we had that we had um grandmother getting sick and telling her about paul who clearly was her you know love interest or her boyfriend or whatever and i was like you know i felt some type of way about the fact that grandma waited so long to tell her um that paul was her half brother because I was just like, Grandma, why would you wait until she's so deep and so into him to tell her something like that? You know what I'm saying? So um, that was interesting. And then, oh my gosh, the fact, you guys, the fact that Paul did not care that Ruby was his sister. I was just like, oh my gosh, this is why people talk about people in the deep south. Because, oh my gosh, Paul at one point really... Do you remember the scene, if you watched it, Paul was in one point like, oh my, I, like, I don't care. It could be our secret. Nobody has to know. Like, I have to have you, Ruby. And I was like, Paul, no, Ruby is your sister. We don't need to do that, okay? But anyway, so I found the storyline um, pretty interesting, you know, and after everything that happened and her grandma passed away, I, you know, I thought, 
as soon as I saw the grandparent come to that funeral and stuff, I was just like, okay, um, you know, grandmare said that he couldn't even step foot in the door. So I don't know where this is going to go. Now, one thing I will say is in the funeral scene, I was like, I'm going to have to go back and look that up too and look at the cast. I was like, Deborah Cox, is that you? Are you Miss Thibodeau? Like the scene went kind of quick. So, you know, and I was so wrapped up into the movie, I didn't pause it or anything to look it up. But I'm going to have to look that up because I definitely thinking that was Deborah Cox who was Miss Thibodeau. But we'll see. If it wasn't, I'm sorry. But I think it was. <laughs> Ruby let Grandpa into that house and I could not believe. When I say I could not believe that Grandpa decided to chain Ruby up to try to sell her to his friend. I was like, is he serious? And then for a thousand dollars, I was like, look at grandpa, is he serious? Then was basically going to let the man try her out right then and everything. I was so glad that Ruby broke free. Now look here. The one thing I was thinking was, dang, you know, after all that, Ruby then left and went to New Orleans, you know, to find her long lost daddy and her twin sister or whatever. And I was just like, oh, are we not going to find out, like, who found Grandpa? Because Ruby, I definitely think, took him all the way out when she was choking him with that chain, okay? But anyway, so then, you know, she goes and she meets her family. And I was really surprised by the fact that her dad was very accepting of the fact that he had a twin daughter that he didn't know about. Um, her sister Giselle, the twin, was not feeling her at all. I do feel like Giselle's character was definitely, you know, very mean to Ruby. And Ruby was just trying to be nice. So, you know, I understood the dynamic of that. Now, what I will say is, is I was just like, okay, Ruby, I need you to keep it together. Okay, when Ruby went to falling apart and the maid was bringing Ruby to the, see the voodoo lady and all the other stuff, I was just like, no, Ruby, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? I was looking at the TV like, Ruby, don't do it. But, you know, if you watched it, you know, Ruby did it anyway. Okay? Now, what was a kicker for me, and I was like, okay, that is some good story writing here, was the fact that um the mom or not her real mom, of course, because her real mom died, um, but the stepmom you know, the father's uh, wife or whatever, the fact that she tricked Ruby and so going to that facility and had her committed, I was like, oh my goodness, is she serious? But you guys, that was so believable to me. I was like, you know what? That is the kind of stuff that goes on because I'm telling you, you can be around some, you know, certain people in certain families and they will do anything so that you can't find all the skeletons in their closets, okay? So that was like, okay, wow. Once it ended, I was kind of like, wait, is this, this is it? Like, this is how this is going off? Like, I felt some type of way about it. I was like, so we're just gonna basically try and sweep this under the rug and be one big happy family. Like, and you hope to call the, the mom, mom one day and all of that. I was just like, what? You know, but then I was like, okay, well, I guess, you know, some people, you know, they can get over things and that's what they want to do. But honestly, I was like, if you had to try to get me committed and I wasn't able to escape, oh no, all best would have been off. Okay. <laughs> now, on to heaven, you guys. So when heaven first came on, I was like, okay, you know, I don't know. I'm fresh off of watching Ruby, but I was like, let me go ahead and watch Heaven and let's see what this is about. And you guys, the way her father was treating her in the beginning of the movie, I was just like, wait, what is this? This is too much, okay? So then by the time we see her talking to her grandmother and stuff, I just felt like, okay, so now we got two sick calls and grandmas. Like, it was just a bit much for me. Like, I felt like, okay, first with Ruby and now with Heaven and her grandmother and these family secrets. And then Heaven finding out that um, her father is so mean to her and treats her the way he treats her because her mom died at, died when she was giving birth to her and she looked so much like her mom and he was so in love with her mom. I was just like, okay, it's not connecting for me. Like, I know that some people, maybe that would have really been their experience, but I would have just thought that, you know, if she looked exactly like her mom and her mom was the love of your life, then maybe you would have treated her like so much better. If anything, I would have thought 
the issue would have been that heaven is getting treated so much better than her other siblings because he loved her mom so much but it was a complete opposite and i just was not feeling how mean he was to her um the fact that the kids basically had to take care of themselves for a hot minute during this movie was just like what okay and then how quickly her and the new guy at school were so into each other you know after talking about one freaking romeo and juliet quote was like a lie for me i was like mm, i don't know fast forward and we see here we go now dad comes back home finds everything out and he's not even willing to take care of these kids and here you go one by one just shipping kids off and stuff and i was just like what the heck is going on like i was not ready for all that this morning okay i just really was not ready for all that then here comes he decides to um let this woman adopt ruby and i was just like what okay who is she who is she with the young husband coming to adopt this girl okay she was giving me all kinds of weird vibes okay i was like she was weird from the, the second i saw her you know and her oh she's so excited to finally have a daughter and making ruby do all that cleaning like that was bothering me i was agitated watching it and i was like look look up for ruby okay you know went from one bad situation to another okay then i was disturbed by the fact that at first i was just thinking okay so maybe ruby's new stepdad you know maybe he really was just gonna try to be there for her and have her back but then here we go before you know it, he's a sleaze too and he's sleeping with ruby and i was just like this is just too much not ruby <sighs> see how aggravated they had me anyway so <laughs> when did i start saying ruby <laughs> you guys when did i start saying ruby anyway so heaven the way her new stepmom started treating her was just ridiculous her making her clean up everything when she um put her in that boiling hot water in that bathtub talking about she had been bad and all this other stuff i was just like you know what this is just too much okay you know what really got me to with this movie was the fact that even with how bad stepmama was treating heaven when they find out that she has um cancer and she's not gonna make it and all this other stuff like she still crawls into bed with her and it's like you were a good mom and all this other stuff and i was like heaven no she's not she wasn't no she wasn't like she made you do horrible things and you know you got sleazeball stepdaddy over here and you know i just feel for for you you know what i'm saying i was just like oh my god i hope that you know the fact that bc andrews wrote these books i hope that none of this had anything to do with her real life okay oh and not to mention not to mention the fact that the pastor got that um heaven's little sister pregnant shut up i already knew it the second the daddy the man came over there to get her because the daddy worked out an arrangement and him and his wife couldn't have a kid i was like now look at that the poor girl look at what's happening to this poor girl okay you know what that was a lot so i just felt like this this was just too much for me just didn't have time for it this morning so like i said it wasn't that it was just um horrible or anything like that in terms of the quality of the movie but the storyline i just wasn't feeling it right now just to be honest with you so watch it when you in a decent mood or something otherwise you'll be annoyed like me hence why it took me so long to film this video today because i honestly after i watched that was very very annoyed okay <laughs> but anyway that's not your problem i'll worry about that anyway now that i've rambled on and on <laughs> what i'll say is is if you watch ruby or heaven um yeah i i feel like the vc andrews um series is gonna be quite interesting i think there's like two more left to go and i don't feel like you'll be just horribly disappointed if you do spend your time watching it I probably would definitely watch it on the DVR um, just in case you need to fast forward through some commercials because I feel like if I would have had to sit through every commercial while heaven was on for sure I probably just would have turned and wouldn't have even finished because of how deep that storyline was so anyway you guys I hope you enjoyed this video 
um let me know in the comments down below if you watch ruby or heaven and really what i want you guys to let me know is, is let me know if the movies were like an accurate depiction of what happened in the book you know because i know a lot of times when they make a movie based off of a book then you know sometimes they'll just add a lot of extra craziness or take out too much stuff so let me know were these really true to what happened in the books or not um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up like it okay subscribe to my channel turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss when i post another video and i will see you guys next time bye